क्वेश्चन थ्री से इज एक्सप्लेन हाउ अ स्क्वायर इज अ कॉर्डिलेट्रल अ पेलेलोग्राम अ रॉम्बस एंड अ रेक्टेंगल सो दिस इज एक्चुअली अ वेरी स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड क्वेश्चन लेट्स कंसिडर एनी आर्बिट्री स्क्वायर सो हेयर आई हैव टेकन दिस स्क्वायर ए बी सी डी दैट यू सी एंड लेट्स फिगर आउट वाई दिस स्क्वायर शुड बी अ कॉर्डिलेट्रल अ पेलेलोग्राम अ रॉम्बस एंड अ रेक्टेंगल सो द फैक्ट दैट a square is a quadrilateral is easy to see a square is a four sided polygon and any four sided polygon is a quadrilateral so a square will surely be a quadrilateral so part 1 was straight forward now in part 2 we have to specify or explain why a square should be a parallelogram well in any square opposite sides are parallel so ab will be parallel to dc and ad will be parallel to bc so in a square opposite sides are parallel and this means that the square must also be a parallelogram so that does part 2 now in part 3 we have to describe we have to explain why a square is also a rhombus so we have shown that a square is a parallelogram the other thing about a square is that all of its four sides are equal so ab is equal to bc is equal to cd is equal to da so a square is a parallelogram in which all sides are equal so any square is a parallelogram in which all sides are equal and this means that any square will also be a rhombus right so that explains part 3 and then finally in part 4 we have to explain why a square is also a rectangle now a rect rectangle is a parallelogram in which all the angles are 90 degrees so that is also true for a square in a square all the four angles at the four vertices they are all equal to 90 degrees and hence uh, and because of this fact all angles in a square uh, are 90 degrees this means that a square will also be a rectangle so a square is a quadrilateral it is a parallelogram it is a rhombus and it is also a rectangle and that completes question number 3 to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers